Good morning everybody. This is a new channel. It is a channel where we're gonna talk about pasta of course. Yes, I love pasta. So if you love pasta, stay with me, stick around. We're gonna have some nice videos in the future. In this channel you will find also some other tips about how to cook the pasta, how to serve the pasta, how to mix the pasta with other ingredients, for example vegetables, together with a nice glass of wine, for example. And uh, we're gonna have fun because we're gonna travel. In fact, today we also are going to travel, although it's the first video. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Italy. Did you have eat truffle? Do you know where truffle come from? Truffle come from Italy and mainly from the north of Italy. So let's go together to discover in a special day the start of the international truffle fair in Alba. Here we are, destination Italy. Just arrived at the airport of Schiphol. Alba is situated a few kilometers away from the city of Turin in Piedmonte region, north of Italy. It's home of the exclusive breed cows the world's best hazelnut, but also the most expensive and prestigious mushroom on earth, the white truffle. It grows under the ground and can be found around October and November. It's part of the mushroom family with a substantial difference. The price, yes, the white truffle can even cost you three to four thousand euro per kilo. In the kitchen, it matches perfectly with starch or fat foods, the best white truffle is compact, which shape recalls the brain. In one piece it may represent a truly food diamond, sold in auction up to over 100,000 euro per few hundreds of grams. Did you like it? How many truffles are there? It's incredible. It's the most expensive uh, mushroom in the world. Now we can talk about the truffle a little bit more. How can you use the truffle? In which dishes can you get the best out of it? Of course, you can eat truffle in many ways. Uh, there is oil truffle, pate truffle, or meat with truffle. I like, for example, the poached egg with a little bit of uh, truffle flakes on top of it. It's really, really lekker. <laughs> Sometimes I speak a little bit of Dutch. I'm not really good in Dutch, so for now we're gonna talk in English, although it's also not my mother tongue but uh, I'm definitely sure that you're going to understand a little bit more than if I talk Italian. Uh, but if you like, I will give you some Italian words here and there. So, let's start with uh, preparing our pasta. Now, which are the main ingredients of pasta? Flowers, yes, and not always egg, sometimes egg, sometimes water, or whatever ingredient that you like the most. For example, there are pasta made with mushrooms. Anyway, today we're going to use only uh, durum wheat flour. This flour I like the most uh, because uh, it helps to keep the pasta still a little bit uh, hard when you eat it. Not really hard, but let's say al dente. That's the best way to say it, in an Italian way, al dente. So we can mix it maybe with some uh, uh, zero zero flour to make it a little bit more soft, but in this case today we're not going to make ravioli, we're going to make tagliolini, tagliatelle, uh, or uh, something like uh, a long pasta. So then we're going to use durum wheat. It's a little bit more uh, yellowish, and today we're going to add yolk egg. So it's going to be even more yellowish. And why the egg? Because the egg really match perfectly with truffle, enhance the taste and the flavor of the truffle itself. Here is our quality yolk, yellow from organic eggs, but you can use any, any uh, yolk that you, that you want actually, there's no restriction for that, it's only a matter of, it's a matter of taste. Flour, in this case is a durum uh, with semolina, then there is yolk, water and truffle. Let's see the truffle, this is my truffle that I uh, took directly from the source, from the farmers in Alba in Italy. And let me see, let's open it together. Here it is. This is our truffle. 
that we have to keep of course to maintain in the fridge and cover with a, just a kitchen paper to absorb the extra humidity. This is uh, our real original white truffle. Fantastic. We're gonna put it here together with the other ingredients. So the first thing we need to do to cook spaghetti with truffle is to heat some uh, butter in a pan. Just like that is enough for one portion or even two eventually. Low fire. You don't want to cook and burn the butter. Now the butter is melting, so we can switch off the fire. Meantime, the water is boiling. Butter is melted. So the best way to add an extra flavor of truffle is to give already a couple of uh, flakes in it. The pasta is ready in the pan for what we say in Italy, mantecatura. Here is where the pasta gets together with the sauce, but keep on slightly cooking, so maintaining the structure, but absorbing all the taste. And here is where we add a little bit of water just for create that creamy feeling. So the best way to enjoy white truffle is by slicing it in ultra thin flakes using a small handheld mandolina. And now, buon appetito!